Hi, Michelle here and me, Kat, and here for Dreaming English, and today we are apple picking. Yes, so you can see the apples, and to pick the apples, you want to... Actually, there's a very nice one down here. Oh. Okay. Well, you need to kind of hold the apple and you kind of turn it. You twist it and then twist it, it so you, you don't damage the tree. Otherwise, if you just pull it, you're going to end up pulling part of the branch down and damage the tree. So it's fall where we're wearing our jackets, it's cold, and it's apple picking time. So let's go learn about apples. Okay, so you can see as we go, a ton of apples are on the ground. Let's see, over there. Let's see if I can point. Yeah, so you can see, because when the wind is blowing, these apples are very ripe and they just fall down to the ground. So actually, if you want to pick apples here, you have to pay by the bag, by the pound, but if you want to get the drops, it's less money. Sometimes the dropped apples are the ones that fell down. Um, they'll make cider over with that. My father makes apple, applesauce so he buys the drops I think they sell them half price some of the times the ones at the bottom they're all dirty or they have they could have worms or not really worms that's more of a cartoon thing it doesn't really happen as much in real life really so there's a tractor going down the road and we're going to talk about the different kinds of apples so this one over here Let's see if we can see the sign you might not be able to see it because it's kind of hidden these are these are called Marshall Marshall Max, Max, and it's named for a local farm in, I think, Lunenburg that developed. There used to be thousands of kinds of apples. Now there's hundreds. Um, so these ones are named for Marshall, for Marshall. That was an apple. Okay, so right here, you wouldn't want to eat this. This is actually, it looks like an apple, but it's got sticky stuff all over it to catch all the flies and the different things that might try to eat the apple because we don't want those things to eat the apples that we're going to eat. So that's what that is. Yeah. It's to catch bugs. Does that apple Don't eat it. It, it looks like it has some that. sort of disease. <laughs> over there are some other plants. If you look over, you There's can some see some corn, corn growing over there. And people ha can rent individual plots to be able to grow different things. It's called community farming over there. So over here, uh, we have the kind that's the golden pine. As you can see, if you look down, you can see that there's all these ones on the ground that the, they've fallen little. down. And then if you go on to an actual tree, there's just these greenish looking ones, not really yellow yet, so those ones won't taste as good. But if you look up... Yeah, so the, the, this particular one, the ones that are ready, are really, really high up in this tree you can see they've kind of turned a golden reddish so so we have these apples here this is one of the ones that fell I couldn't get one from all the way up there so this is one of them you can see it's red where it was probably exposed to sunlight the most looks like this one might have been dangling when it was grown it's on the part that was probably not really exposed to as much sunlight as the rest it's almost greenish not super green as the other ones that were still on the tree in the shade were. And then over here it's a nice yellow color, so this is probably what you're going to find with those trees since. So over here, this is a Macintosh tree, as you can see. It's almost like this red-green mix. It The Mac was short for Macintosh over there, which were the Marshall Macs. Mm -hmm. And these are just plain Macintosh. They're good. They're Often they're used for baking because they're, they're soft. Very soft. They're Not like softer. squishy soft, like the gross thing that happens to apples after they've oh, not been eaten for a while. But they're like, not like firm to bite. They're really easy to bite and really easy to slice. So that's why they're used in a lot of baking and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're very good for apple pies for sure. Yep. So, These are Cortland. You can see the sign right here. Yeah, Cortland apples. Ah. They're another really good baking apple. They look similar to the Macintosh. But they do have a different taste. And over here... Do we have any that we can show? An apple. Portland so you can apple. see they're red and green, green like the Macintosh. And I, I think they bake very similar and taste very similar to the Macintosh. 
you can see the sign right here. Let me just show you. Um, so the sign says Red Cortland right there. And you can see, see that one up there? All right, let's see if we can see these apples. Let's see. These are very pretty, very nice red they're color. Very, yeah, they're, so they're more red and not like a red green. All right, so this sign actually tells a good story of how the life cycle of an apple, of how first in the spring they have flowers that are then pollinated by bees and then the trees throughout the summer, they continue to grow and in the fall when it gets a little bit colder, they start to grow the apples. Um, we live in Lemonster, show your shirt. We live in Lemonster, which is the home, the birthplace of Johnny Appleseed. We'll put some information about him in the description, but he was a famous person that lived here. You might have heard of him. He, uh, he grew up here and then the thing is, he decided, hmm, I'm going to go west, um, looking like a complete weirdo because I'm going to put a pot on my head. And he wanted to. He wanted I think to he might have been plant a apples. And he just basically took all these apple seeds and spread them all around. His real name was John Chapman, but everyone called him Johnny Appleseed because, because hence what he did. He was always planting apple trees and apple seeds. And this is the uh, only remaining volunteer-run apple orchard in Lemonster. Yeah, and so the, all of them were being being bought up and they were tearing down all and putting condos and houses so the city bought this and this is totally run by the city. Um, an interesting thing about planting apples, if you plant apples from the seeds, you never know what you're going to get. You're most likely going to get sour apples that are only good for making hard cider. So most of the apples that Johnny Appleseed planted from apple seeds are probably not edible apples. If you want well, they to, edible. they're edible, but they won't taste very good. So if you want to actually get a Cortland or a Macintosh, what you need to do is you need to cut off a branch from a Cortland tree and somehow like attach it and they call it grafting, graft it and basically merge this, the branch with the existing apple tree. And that's how you end up getting the variety of apple that you're looking for. If you plant it from the seed, you're going to get sour apples. And here's the thing though, not all sour apples are bad because I do know some crab apple trees around and I have tried some of them and some of them are actually pretty good. They're kind of, they kind of have like that sour tangy flavor, but they are pretty good. So over here we have a sunflower. The other ones, you can see them, but they don't look that nice anymore since it's not really summer anymore. Right, so. But this one's pretty. He's still got all his petals. So yeah, now we're gonna head over to those big, wild-looking apple trees. Not nicely trimmed like these smaller ones, but look like they're gonna be interesting. So over here, we have some very big apple trees. These, these apple trees are not being groomed, and they're kind of gone a bit wild. So we don't know what kind they are. They're huge. They're super tall and they're not being groomed or being used as part of the orchard. They are technically part of the orchard, but people can come and pick them, but... Yeah, but they're, they're not being they're groomed not, and... Not sure what they are. We don't know what they are. But it is quite pretty. These big trees in the background with all the apples on them that are visible from afar. It does it need helping. It is quite pretty over here, but... It's a nice place. Yeah. So right over here, you can see Kat, she's picking some stra some raspberries. They, these are raspberries that grow here as well. I believe they have blueberries, but we're past blueberry season. So there's still some raspberries growing here. All right. Raspberries grow in the fall. That's why they're here. Right. But blueberries, I think, are done in mid to late August. Tell us in the comments below. Do you pick anything? Do you go and pick apples? Do you go and pick oranges, mangoes? Is there some sort of tradition that you do to go and pick things as a family? And if you like this video, please um, subscribe to our channel. And hit the bell so that way when we post a new video, it will notify, notify you. Notify you. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.